Hey guys, I'm just uh, walking Tamarack Creek. Uh, just to check out my floats, figured I could walk it instead of uh, pulling the boat down. So hopefully I stay dry. Uh, uh, that float's still set. That float's still set. You gotta watch out for those spots. That float's still set. Oh, it's still set. Not looking too good here. Uh, that one's still set. I got two more. <laughs> I think I got skunked. Oh well. I can take a walk up while I'm here to that other inlet. <clears throat> and that one be set. I need more bait on that one. And can only see one trap on that one, but I'll uh, walk up and around to get a look at the other one. But you can see it's opening up. Yesterday I was only able to come to about here, but I can go almost all the way up to that uh, rock face there anyways. I'll just show you since I still got it on. Yeah, that one's still set too. Okay, that's fine. So I didn't catch a rat, but I'll leave him out. And uh, come check tomorrow morning before we leave. I'll just go see what this is. But yeah, you can see she's pretty well broken up to here now. And even up that way quite a ways. And like I said, there's this little inlet here. And uh, I'll take a walk up to there. I'll just I think I can jump over here. And this hard pack is nice. You can just walk wherever you want without having to worry about sinking through feet, three feet of snow. Almost looks like quite a bit of footprints up here. Old tracks and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty thin ice. I could probably break through that with the boat pretty easily. And keep setting along the way. But, uh, huh. Cool. Alrighty, well, we'll leave this for now. Come back tomorrow and check things out again. And, uh, see what happens. But, no rats today. Oh well. Hey guys, I was out here yesterday and, uh, well, there was nothing on the highway when I drove by and turned around up here earlier, but uh, this morning I found this guy. Nice big dog mink. Looks like he got himself ran over. Uh, you can see a little spot of blood. It's where he was lying when I came. Not really sure if I should bring him home and just report that I found a roadkill mink or what to do but uh, there is a fox den not far from here so maybe I'll just throw this off to the side and let her have it but kind of cool kind of shitty that there's a big mink here at least it's a dog and not a female but uh, still kind of sucks to see one of your mink get slaughtered by roadkill Oh well, name of the game I guess. 
So uh, I'll figure out what I'm going to do with him and then I'll carry on. Alrighty, we'll see you guys. This guy's, this guy's still warm. Um, so he's fresh. Like he hasn't been here more than an hour anyways. But he's got a couple smashed up ribs. Otherwise, yeah. Let me show you a comparison. My boot compared to the mink. So he's a nice size, just like I said, he's out of season, so I can't technically keep him, which sucks, but at the same time, I can report roadkill and keep roadkill. So, uh, Yeah, not really sure. Alrighty, anyways, I'll turn you off and carry on. Hey guys, I'm uh, just at the shed. I'm grabbing my axe since I forgot to grab it yesterday. It's uh, down in here someplace. Bunny pelt. <laughs> I think that's just a pelt. Yeah, that's just a pelt. No bunny in that one. Um, what am I looking for? This. I think my stay needs cleaned out. I'll do that when the season's over. <laughs> but I wanted to show you. Uh, that's a pretty big track. Almost looks like a fisher. I guess one came through my yard. Had a 330 out for it all year, or a 220 box, but he couldn't come to that. Actually, these look pretty fresh. Almost like yesterday's or last night's. But anyways, either a Martin or a Fisher came through. You can see his tracks all there. Actually, swap that coon. Damn it. <laughs> so Mr. Raccoon came through and uh, had a peek around. I know the yard's a mess. Like I said, when trapping season's over, that's when I do my cleanup. And I still got tell me. <laughs> So, um, then again, I do have to work my ass off for the next couple weeks. Anyways, i am uh, got my six more floats and uh, my number ones. And then down on the bottom, you can see my bottle of lure. May as well bring it with me and see what happens. But yeah, we're going to go set out six more floats and uh, rebait everything. And then we'll come back. Alrighty, later. Hey guys, um, I still have three floats that I wanted to put out, but I'm running out of time now that I look at the time. <laughs> Apparently Easter dinner's at 3 and it's 20 after 2, so I guess I better get my ass in gear. But uh, I got four more. One, two, three, four, five more floats out there. And I uh, rebaited them all, all the other ones. So there's one there. Uh, one up there. One up there there and then one more way up there so i'll uh bring this i'll go park the boat and get my ass out of here and go for dinner but uh just thought i'd give you a little quick clip of what i was up to i didn't catch anything as you saw in the clips from this morning of me checking i just came back out this afternoon to reset or to set more out so yeah we'll uh get out of here and we'll uh head on home and well i guess we'll come back another day friggin current just grabs you and i gotta say i almost like long springs better than coil springs when it comes to uh rat trapping only because those coil springs scare the fucking hell out of me i'm always afraid i'm gonna pinch a finger while i'm trying to set them but anyways um <laughs> having said that we've got the uh, floats there and we're gonna head on out and come back another day I guess. I'll check tomorrow morning before we leave and then I'll come back. Uh, before I run into this float completely and set it off. I'll just back up from it. Alrighty. So uh yeah I made it up that much further. Which I guess isn't bad but I'd still like to get further yet. So anyways we'll uh catch you guys later. Okay, I'm gonna make this quick. You see the big mounds of grass here? Well, it's like that everywhere there, all along the shorelines, both sides. 
And what happens is you think you're walking on a mound, next thing you know you, you're not. And you're up to your knees in snow. Um, good thing tomorrow I'm gonna come check early. So things should be still pretty frozen. And I won't be sinking up to my knees. But uh, when it's warm like this, like it has been the last two days, snow starts getting soft. So anyways, um, there's my leftover stuff. And I'm gonna go have dinner and uh, come back out and check tomorrow. So have yourselves a good one. Happy Easter and all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys. Uh, one more thing, that make that I found this morning on the side of the road, um, I decided to bring it home and what I'll do is I'll make a phone call on Tuesday and see what I can do with it, see if I'm allowed to keep it or uh, what, but because season's closed, that's why I was unsure about keeping it or not. I mean, I didn't kill it, it was roadkill, but uh, just the same, I don't really want to get in trouble for picking up a roadkill make. Um, when season's closed for them. So, like I said, I'll make a phone call on Monday to our uh, representative for the m &R for Trappers and see what he has to say and go from there. I'm sure it'll be fine, but I'd rather do things right than get in trouble for something silly like picking up a roadkill make. But anyways, that's all for that. Have yourselves a good one, and we shall see you hopefully tomorrow morning with a few rats otherwise uh, I'll just I won't make a video if I don't catch anything um, otherwise it'll be three or four days before my next one before I come back up and check because I'm going down to see Kirk while we go to work down his way for a couple days so Kirk we'll see you tomorrow and everybody else well uh, we'll see you next time <laughs> alrighty have a good one guys